in this case study, we're taking a look at a potential issue that can occur again related to databases, but in this instance, we're unable to find the database server. So during the pre-checks, we would get an internal error occurring. And in the upgrade runner.log, it'll tell us that it failed during the vCenter database pre-checks. And it'll guide us to look for the collect requirements on the vcdb.log. So looking into that particular log that we're guided to, the smoking gun here is the message towards the bottom where we see the db.find and two slashes in quotes. So this particular issue has been root caused by VMware and there is a KB article 2113819 and it's caused if the vCenter server database was previously moved from SQL Server Express to a full instance of Microsoft SQL Server. So the particular function that has been called is parsing the name incorrectly in this instance. To work around this issue, you need to update your, the server name in the DSN field. So for example, replace hostname.domain.com with hostname.domain.com and then a backslash. Once you've updated your DSN, you can perform the migration again and you should no longer encounter this particular issue. So that concludes this particular case a database issue where we're unable to find the database server due to an issue with the DSN. I hope you enjoyed this video.